Nick Donito here from StageBuddy.com with Becky Cloonan, comic book writer and artist at New York Comic Con. Becky, how are you today? I'm doing very good. You are the artist for The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, um, based on uh, Gerard Way's you know, band My Chemical Romance. Mm -hmm. Were you a big fan of uh, My Chem, and what was it like getting onto this project? It was crazy. Um, Gerard and I, we went, actually went to the same school. We went to School of Visual Arts in New York. He was years, a few years ahead of me, so we ended up having like a lot of mutual friends. Um, but when he... Uh, I think after we worked on Umbrella Academy, we just, it, it seemed like we ran with the same people. So when he called me up and was like, oh, I got this idea, me and my friend Sean thought of it like a few years ago and, you know, they, they called me on the book. It just seemed like, and it was pretty cool. And then, and then the book got delayed and then became an album and the album became the videos. Now the videos is going back and like informing the comic again. So it's like been this giant like comic book Ouroboros kind of thing, where it's just eating its own tail over and over. But it's been really cool because I have a lot to draw from now. There's a lot, like the world has been built for us. Yeah, it's and, cool. and you don't have to worry about drawing the actual Killjoys and doing justice to to them because you know of their demise in the music videos. But you do get to you know to work in the whole world. So yeah. is that kind of a relief that you don't have to say like I have to draw Gerard this way? Or? Oh, I hate I hate likenesses. So like I wouldn't. People ask me to draw Gerard sometime, and I'm like I can't. <laughs> you know that's. I'm not a likeness person, um, but the original story of the Killjoys was actually not what the mo movies was really. I mean, the, or the movies, the, the movies, the videos. It seems like a movie to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah the, it was like it was different. I mean, there was like several incarnations of it. So of course, the story that they originally had when they turned it into the video and it, that became a and the album, the concept album. Of course, the concept changed a little bit, and so they took ideas and characters that we had worked on, and then kind of worked it into this new story. So even if um, if there hadn't been an album and hadn't been the, the videos, it would be totally different than what it is. But I think as it is right now, it's matured a lot. And you know, them thematically, it, it touches on a lot of different topics. But uh, spiritually, it's still the same thing as when we started. Uh, you've also got your own self-published works. You got the uh, Wolves, the Meyer, and Demeter. Uh, you won an Eisner Award for the Meyer. Um, what has all of this uh, success meant to you just as a self-publisher? Well, you know, when I started these, it was like, I don't want to say I was like desperate or desperation, but there's like, I was really discouraged of my own writing. You know, I've been working with writers for a long time and then um, I was having trouble getting like stories out there and like pitching to people was really, I wasn't getting like much of a response to my own writing. So I was like, well, I got to learn how to write apparently, you know. Um, so that's how I, I just started doing these to try and learn how to write better and how to, um, you know, what kind of stories I want to tell or how I want to work. So, because eventually I'd like to work more with, on my own stuff and I still want to work with writers, but I want to kind of like, you know, more of my own writing. So this was like kind of testing the water and figuring out if I can do it. And then when I got the Eisner for the Meyer, I was like, okay, I, can, I got this, I can do it. So then, you know. You spoke at a panel on Thursday called Women in Comics. Um, I missed it. Uh, could you give us, and for everybody who couldn't attend, uh, could you give us like a, just a gist of what you know that panel was about and what the main major points that we, we should take away from it? Uh, could you sum it up you know, super quick? I'm sure it was just too much. I can't sum it up. I mean, but there, if, if you ever get the chance to go to Women in Comics panel, you might roll your eyes a little bit and be like, aren't we over this? Do we really need this? Is it necessary? you should go because there's always a lot of um, important issues being brought up and not just about women in comics I'm talking about like diversity in comics so you, you know uh, gays in comics and minorities in comics people of color and yeah you know old, the older audience and the, the children reading comics I mean these are all things that need to be talked about and um, addressed so right. well, thank you very much for that great answer um, this is Becky Cloonan pick up True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, or Wolves, or The Meyer, or Demeter at your local comic book store. Stop. Um, I'm Nick for Stage Buddy. Have a good day.